Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a way to leave voice feedback in Google Slides, Google Docs, and Google Forms. So the site is justmote.me. I'm already logged in and there is a free version and a paid for version. I have the free version right now. If you want right from here, you can automatically add this to Chrome and it shows up here as a Chrome extension. So what's really nice about Mo, it allows you to leave voice feedback in Google products. So the newest feature they have is in slides. So I'm gonna start here. So instead of clicking here um, in the extension list, I should have once logged in and everything and associate it with Google, I'm gonna have a Mo icon here. So if I click this Mo icon, it's gonna pull this up. The first time you use it, you're probably gonna to have to allow your microphone, but you click right on the Moat icon and immediately start recording. So I can record and when I am done in my 30 second time frame, I just click back on the icon. It will do a little thinking and I can replay it back to see if I'm satisfied with my voice comment or select insert. Once I select insert, it will populate it directly into the slide for me. So right now, because it's a small icon, um, the play button is interfering with me being able to resize. So what I can do is I can actually, since it's selected, you see the blue outline behind it. Um, so since it's selected, I can actually come over to my format options or open the format bar. And I want it to play on click, but I'm gonna actually come down here to size and I'm gonna make sure, um, I'm gonna raise the size. As you can see, it's getting larger there. So it resized, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to move it wherever I want it to go. So if I want it to be down here in the right corner, I can leave it down here in the right corner. If students have editing rights to this presentation, they can actually, on a laptop, just click directly on it. This bar will pop up so they can play it back directly on the slide. So you could use this as a way to read aloud each of your slides if you're doing an asynchronous lesson, or um, you could add this as feedback on a presentation that maybe they submitted. So one difference on an iPad, if I go to the slide with the voice note on it right here, if I click on it, it just selects it. There's no way to play back the comment. So I actually have to put it in present mode. So from here, I actually have to click on the icon while it's in present mode. Recording. Recording. So, so I can, I can That's the only difference between using a laptop device and an iPad device. All right, so that's Google Slides. What a great feature to easily insert um, 30 seconds of audio on each slide, each individual slide if I want to. Let's go over to Google Docs. In Docs, you have the same option to have the Moat extension up here. You just don't have it built in like in Slides. So if I wanted to add some voice feedback, what I would do is I would highlight just like I normally would for a comment. I could hit the plus sign here or the plus sign there to add a comment. And as you can see, you get the immediate moat icon. So you'll click on that. You'll begin recording immediately your 30 second time frame again. Select done when you are done. I can actually click this edit right here to review my voice note. It does ask you to um, edit your moat transcript, but that's in the paid version. So right here, you just get to listen and review um, you can delete this or you can exit out and keep it. All right, so I'm going to exit that. I'm going to keep it and I'm just going to select comment. On a laptop, what a student would do is while in their Google Doc, select play. They can um, also respond to this the same way they would any other comment. All right, in the same doc on an iPad, in the upper right hand corner, you see this icon. If you select it, it'll come down and show you all of your uh, comments that a teacher or somebody has left you feedback. If I click on it, it opens the actual comment. And as you can see, that moat voice note is now hyperlinked. So it doesn't play automatically inside of the doc in the doc app on an iPad. 
If I select it, it's going to ask me where do I want to open it. I'm going to select Safari, and it'll populate um, as a URL in Safari, and you can see that it's right here. The kids do not have to have a login in order to listen to voice notes in Safari or in Chrome or any URL browser that you're using. The last thing I want to show you is in a Google Form, or just like in a doc, there is no option to have um, a moat icon here like in slides, so you have to access it from here. And the way you're going to do it here, because you're not leaving a comment in um, a Google Form, you're actually going to use this feature right here. You're going to record a moat voice note on the spot from the extension. You'll click right here. It'll immediately start your 30 seconds. So if you wanted to leave a uh, read a question out loud, you can. And then select done. When you are done, my moat is now copied to the clipboard. So I don't have to save it anywhere or do anything. I can click on my question and I can control V. I don't like to see where it says click to hear my voice note. So I'm just going to backspace that. And now when I go into preview mode or student view mode, what the students would see, they'll see this right here. So they can click on this and open it in a new browser, new tab. Now, because this form I use as an exit ticket form, I wouldn't care if they um, open a new tab and use the new tab for this. But maybe if I'm giving a quiz, I may not want to encourage them opening a new tab. The last thing to show you is back on the moat, uh, just moat.me page. If I click on my icon over here, I can actually go to my activity. And from here, it'll show me all of my voice notes I've ever created and where I've created them at. These are the ones that I did on the moat pad. Remember, the moat pad is when I record right here and get a link for it. I really love this uh, insert audio directly into slides feature. And I hope you find it useful for your students.